Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a GeoGuessr for NHL arenas and I have to be within 25 kilometers, which I think is like, I don't know what that would be, maybe 15 miles. So for every one that I get correct, I get to pick a player above 80 overall. However, there's also a five minute time limit, so I gotta be speedy. GeoGuessr actually has a limit where if you have a free account, you can only play for five minutes every 15 minutes. So I said, ha! I'm gonna use that to my advantage. So again, it does give you a score based on how close you are. We're not gonna use that. I'm basically just going for the kilometers or the miles, but I'm Canadian, so kilometers. All right, I'm actually, why am I nervous? I'm genuinely nervous for this, but anyway, yeah, my mic also might be kind of weird. So I noticed in the last video, which might not be the last video that came out, but the mic was sort of acting up and that's because I installed the Logitech G Hub thing. I got a new mouse and that screwed up the microphone. So love that, but hopefully it's fine this time. Let's do this thing. Start game. What are you gonna give me? Loading location. Okay, so it's Arizona. It's Arizona, which is down here somewhere. Phoenix. Oh, their arena's like really far away though. They don't play in... I'm gonna do it anyway and hope for the best, but I'm pretty sure I remember their arena being kind of far away. Oh, I got it. 19 kilometers. Okay, no time for celebrations. Let's go next. What do we got? Michelob, the beer of athletes. Uh, where are we? This is not giving me anything right now. It's probably right in front of my face, and I'm missing it. Oh, no. Like, what are you? Oh, Dallas! That's perfect. Okay, where's Texas? It's the big boot. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, okay, it's at the very bottom. Is it in... No, it's gotta be in Dallas. It says Dallas on the jersey. Nailed it. Next. I know I'm being frantic. I don't really have a choice. All right, I kind of have to be. Is this... Is this the Scotiabank Arena? Oh, no, wait. Roger's place. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if this is Edmonton or Vanc- I think it's Edmonton. No, wait. Because they're the- ah, I don't know what this is! Is there any hints anywhere else? I can't believe I don't know this. Roger's place. Oh no! Oh no, it is! Because Calgary's the Saddle Dome. Okay, okay. Where? Alberta. And we gotta find... Edmonton? It's gotta be Edmonton. Yes, let's go! And we have ourselves Capital One Arena. Washington Capitals, baby. I don't know where their arena actually is i know that it's got to be close to here no because it's washington and i was right 1.3 oh wow i was really close this is okay i see bar this is an arena are we sure mike's plat i'm not getting anything here this is absolutely useless i have no idea what's going on to the front maybe guys i don't know where this is i have absolutely no idea where this is Okay, I'm just gonna... Um... <laughs> the thrashers aren't a thing anymore. It's not Philly, but whatever. I'll just guess it. Yeah, I was uh, not very close. Ooh, okay. Never would have guessed that, but let's keep going. Play again, start game. So this is Columbus, Ohio. Should be right over here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Cleveland, Columbus. Give me that. 6.4. And now we have the Bell Center. Quebec, Montreal is down here somewhere. There it is. Guess. Nailed it. Next up is going to be, what is this? What are you? I have no idea what you are. This way maybe? Is there anything on this side of the building? Give me something. It says, the TD Garden. Okay, so this is Massachusetts. It's over here somewhere, I think. Maine, Massachusetts. Where's Boston? Boom, guess? Nice. All right, I don't know how many, I'm not keeping track at all. I have no idea how many I've gotten right. Minute left, okay. So I think I'm doing all right so far. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Anything on the glass? That looks like the LA Kings. All right. So this is the crypto arena, I think. Los Angeles. Good enough. Good enough. Absolutely nailed it. What do we got here? What do we got? Carolina. Carolina. All right. Hurricanes. Where is Raleigh? It is... There's Charlotte. Raleigh, North Carolina. I think that's what it is. Guess? Nice. All right. We are on fire. No. Play again. Stop it! Get me out of here! Let me play! 32 seconds. Oh my goodness, I feel like we already had this one and I don't know what it was. Is this the Dallas one again? What's on the glass here? Clippers. Clip. Los Angeles? Again? It's gotta be. Right here. 25 on the dot. I think that counts. I'm pretty sure I said that counts. Uh, Florida. Ah! Come on! I don't know where they play in Florida. I'm just gonna guess here. Are you kidding me? 
That was amazing. Three seconds to go, we take that. Thanks to that Florida buzzer beater, just over 50% of our team will be above 80 overall, which I'm okay with. That's not too bad. It could have been worse. I know I'm gonna have some critics, people that like study where arenas are, but I don't care. I'm quite proud of how I did actually. So our first 11 picks get to be above 80 overall. And then after that, or I guess I could take a non 80 overall before that, but would I, you know? All in all, 11 players above 80 and basically everyone else has to be below 80. Well, let's find out what team we're gonna be using by using the play now randomize. It's gonna be the pity pence. Brony will not be editing my lines and CPUs can trade if they would like to salary cap on and most importantly fantasy draft will be on shocker I'm gonna go with pick number 12 and let's see how wrong I am very wrong 31 really the only good news is we get two picks very close to each other so that is beneficial this man right here has been exactly that he's been elite in fact i'm tempted to take him 7.7 .7 at 90 overall 23 years of age i was debating on taking eichel but i might go with robertson yeah, why not? I could take Sorokin, and then we'd have a 90 overall goalie, and that way we'd have a really good forward, a really good goalie, and I probably should take a defenseman sometime soon, but because I only get 11 really solid players, right? So I'm trying to do this strategically here. My backup goalie is definitely going to be below 80 overall. You know what? I'm going to go all in on offense. Jack Eichel to play with Robertson. Let's make it happen. Josh Morrissey, you know, 87 overall. He doesn't have any abilities, which is kind of unfortunate. 6.2. Latang has four abilities. I still don't really know how much that affects simulation, though. I know I did like a whole video on it. Didn't answer a whole lot. Shea Theodore, though, has an X factor, several abilities. He's making 5.2 and he's 27. How do you say no to that? Is that even possible? Welcome to the team, bud. Or should I say buddy old pal? I know I could take Freddy. I really could. And I could take Billy Huso. This is going to be a super hot take. And I don't know how you guys are going to feel about it. But I'm going with Mr. Knight. It's going to be one of these two. I just don't know which one yet. 500k is not really significant. Offensive defenseman for both of them. They're both 30. Same overall. I really don't know what to do right now. They're also both right-handed, which we need because Theodore is left-handed. Physicality, he's got three. He's got three and a half. Simply because Justin Falk has number 72 right there, which means obviously he wears number 72. That's how it works. I'm taking him. I have a sneaky suspicion that our team's going to be cheeks, but I suppose we'll find out. Captain America, Joe Pavelski, get some veteran presence in the room he could be on the first line hopefully they tear it up so my plan is to have two forward lines which makes up six players and then two defensive pairs that's 10 and our starting goalie so i think that's a pretty sound strategy in terms of balancing everything out i think zach hyman could be very solid for our second line so i'm gonna go ahead and sign him our second line will also have mr Tafoli who is a right wing sniper. So if we get a center playmaker, I think our second line is going to be nasty. Defense are dwindling a lot faster than I thought they would. I'm a little worried. So I'm going to take Martinez, who's 84 overall. And as our final defensive selection, that is above 80 overall, I'll take Barry. So there we go. Our top four, very nice. David Krejci is a center playmaker. He's 84 overall. I feel like he's our best bet. All right, David, let's see what you can do. And with that... We are now only able to take players below 80 overall. I don't know why, but I feel like Nick Foligno will sim well. There's literally no valid reason for that. It's just a straight up gut feeling. So I'll draft him. We're gonna have to make a lot of cap friendly picks after this. I mean, to be fair, our roster is already quite full. So I think we have room to do this, but I'm taking Lucic, no questions asked. I will also be selecting Ryan Reeves. Welcome to the squad. You know what? Our team's nasty. I don't care. We're actually going to win the Stanley Cup. Thanks for coming to the video, but the results are already in. Spoiler alert. The Pittsburgh Penguins win the Stanley Cup. Derek Ryan's got 86 face-offs, three and a half star defense, which is fairly solid. I think he'll be good on the PK. So I will be taking him for our team. Sam Wise Montembeau, 79 overall, is going to be the Pity Pens backup this season. $13 million left. We have four picks remaining. We're in a very good spot right now. And I'm going to take Radko Gudis, 79 overall. That's outrageous. Well, I think he kind of popped off last year and then has slowed down a bit this year. 
But anyway, I could also be making that up. I just know that he was on my fantasy team at one point and he was doing much better than I thought he would. Will Butcher shoots left. His defensive category is not that good. He is a two-way defender though. I'm debating between Butcher right now and Bryson. So we got a high top six defender versus a medium top four. Same overall, obviously, at 79. Bryson is a two-way defender as well. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Bryson. Four and a half star physicality. I absolutely love that. Brian Boyle will be joining our team as well. We're gonna be tough, that's for sure. The Broad Street Bullies stayed within the same state, but they changed arenas, <laughs> that's for sure. What better way to finish off the team than with the Wayne Train? That is prime. I am so happy with this team. So let's just double check here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be the last player. It is, all right? And then we have our... Nope, wrong one. I overstepped it. Knight, 86 overall, Montembo 79. We are locked and loaded. Let's go and put this team together. If we had injuries on, easiest Stanley Cup of all time. Very interesting. The coach wants to Foley on the first line instead of Pavelski, which I'm sort of okay with because it's still a plus five. But at the same time, then we don't have a sniper on the second line. And if I do this, it's a zero. I'm still going to run with that and hope for the best. If it isn't working out, we could always just best lines it after. So yeah, we'll keep our first line stacked as it is. And then we will review this later on. Not a whole lot of chemistry for our defense, but they look pretty solid. 284 is on the second pair, 87, 86 on the first pair with Theodore and Falk. And then we got Bryson and Gudis. And in net, the very questionable pick of Spencer Knight will be backed up by Montembeau. This is a really tough one to guess. And I'm going to say that Robertson gets the most points with... 80 and i'll say our team gets 44 wins and we make the playoffs i don't have a great feeling about this one though i think i'm gonna be terribly wrong oh no that's a six game losing streak i believe we started out pretty solid and then we fell off of a cliff but it looks like we're picking it back up here hopefully the other issue is that our division looks very strong so we're gonna need a very solid record to make it in sometimes we get lucky and with like 40 wins we make it into the playoffs but other times we can get 45 wins and not make it it's just the way she goes and we have 30 wins at the trade deadline i feel like 44 is a little extreme i think that's what i guessed right because we're going to need 14 wins after the trade deadline. Don't know if that's going to happen. But let's go ahead and see who's available regardless. We've got O'Reilly at 88 overall. Pellick, 87. Patches, Klingberg. Okay, so I would love to bring in Tim Winston, but I'm not going to do it. Or will I? Now, technically, if I can get them to take Zach Hyman for Tim Winston, we're not breaking the rules because we're still going to have the same amount of players below 80 overall. This could be an awful idea, and I don't care. I'm gonna try one for one, which I don't think they'll accept. Yeah, doesn't match at all. Okay, I see you. But I could try to throw a draft pick in there if they want one, like a fifth. That might go through, but I kind of... Oh, they did. Never mind. There's another big trade for you. Pelik and Sezikis headed to Vancouver. Okay, I'm actually going to best lines it, which it looks like it already did that for me. Yeah, we'll rock this the rest of the season. Just want to make sure that nothing changed here. Yeah, okay. We look like we're still set. Goalies. Yep. Let's keep it going. And we're sixth in the division right now. It's not looking promising, that's for sure. And this is not helping. Oh my word. A six game winning streak. We got a loss, but then we bounce right back. 44 wins is possible. We might be able to do it. Oh no. We need to win all three. We needed to win out and we did not do it, but we could still possibly make the playoffs. Brutal. I got my hopes up. I really did. We finished with 43 wins and the Flyers finished with 40, but they had 14 overtime losses. Hello? Oh yeah, sure enough. We finished 12th in the league. We were top 16 comfortably, and we did not make it in. But the 19th place Kraken and the 20th place Colorado Avalanche have no issues playing for the Stanley Cup. What a joke. Not my playoff system. Surprisingly, Robertson didn't do that well. He put up 70 points. We got 79 from Pavelski, though, and then point a game exactly from Jack Eichel. What a lad. Tyson Berry led defenseman with 57 Let's go. Tom Wilson had 50 points in 81 games. That first pairing just didn't really get it done. 43 points for Theodore and only 39 for Falk. 
unacceptable. Knight played very well. 918 and a 252. 33 wins and three shutouts on the year. Montembeau, not so lucky. Maybe I should have taken another goalie. But then would I have given up a forward? And I don't know. Yeah, I, th I still think I made the right decision. Kane wins the Art Ross and likely the Rocket Richard convincingly. 117 points and he does in fact win it. Not even close. 14 goals ahead of Pasta. Merzlikens had the most wins with 41, a 913 save percentage, and a 267. He did phenomenally. Allmark with a 919. And then we have a 917 from Markstrom. Hedman led defenseman with 75 points. And then we've got a trio of 70s here with Yossi, Hughes, and Doughty. Fox gets a nice amount of points. All right, let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup. I still can't believe that. We finished 12th in the league. I, I'm chalking that up as a dub. I am. That's a great finish. It will be the Detroit Red Wings taking home the Stanley Cup. In case we wanted to have a look, the New Jersey Devils, who won the President's Trophy, had Point, Kreider, and Verana on their first line. Trocek, Dubois, Gord. That's very solid top six. Primo and Markstrom. Okay, so Markstrom makes sense. Ekholm, Johnson, McAvoy, Hannafin on the second pair, and then Risto and Weidman on the third. Fair enough, Devils. Detroit finished third in the league with 100 flat, and they had Larkin. They brought him back. Burakovsky and Kane, Malgin, Nuge, and Kurashev. They had Bobrovsky in the cage, Doughty, Edler, Pionk. Yeah, a good team. Let's go through the awards if we must. See if we won anything. I really doubt it, though because I don't think we particularly dominated in any aspect. And there is your playoff tree. So although we didn't make the playoffs, I still had fun with that one. The GeoGuessr was a little bit stressful, but I still think I pulled through and did okay. And I'm happy with the draft we made as well. Just unfortunate circumstances had us missing out on the playoffs, but it is what it is, you know, say la vie. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. It's just the way she goes. Well, hopefully you found that entertaining. And on that note, I'll see you soon.